Nick Walker listened to us and he just fired his coach Matt Jensen and this is a huge development in the world of bodybuilding, the Nick Walker saga after he dropped out of the 2024 Mr. Olympia competition. A lot of people jumped on Nick's head when he made the announcement and they were accusing him of being weak, of being lazy and not getting in shape for the competition, of being a loser and for disappointing his fans and so and so on. This truth is Nick Walker's a loser, a quitter, a has-been. But it looks like the truth is slowly, slowly coming to the surface and it looks like that it might actually not be his fault, but his coach's fault. So this guy, Matt Jensen, he's well known for pushing the limits. And he actually got a few of his athletes quite ill and unfortunately, because of his coaching, we probably lost Dallas McCarver, rest in peace. There was a rumor that Nick Walker got in this state because he used fake gear and then he couldn't get in shape for the Mr. Olympia. But when we were looking at his video when he was making this announcement, mate, this guy looked obese, he looked so, so big, bloated and he looked like he was holding a lot of water and it makes you wonder, what was wrong with his body? Was he sick? Was he suffering from something? Did he avoid any, you know, major uh, health event? What happened? Nobody knew until slowly, slowly things started to come out that they were thinking that he used fake gear, but it just looks like that his coach is just literally not doing his job properly. So we have this guy, Quintus, which works as well and worked actually as well with uh, Matt Jensen and he literally exposed this guy and pretty much I think ended his career and after all these things started to come up I think Nick Walker decided to end his collaboration with this coach and hopefully he will probably hire a better coach which will get him in good shape for the next season and hopefully we'll see Nick in the next year at the Mr. Olympia but man it makes you wonder what the hell is going on in this industry like some coaches they have no no regard for athletes health they just gonna push them and do stupid things and like literally kill themselves because that's what happens with some coaches and i'm not speaking specifically about this guy there are a lot of other coaches who do literally do the same they don't care about their athletes health they don't care about what might happen you know in the short period or in the medium period or in the long term period and they just push these athletes to do some crazy things like these athletes they were literally not being able to rest in the night they had to sleep with these uh, machines and for me that's really crazy because first and foremost as a coach you should look after your athletes health if you don't look after your athletes health and you make them ill and you push them over the limit and even close to dying or even dying then what the hell this is the last thing we we want and i was saying in the video i've done a couple of weeks ago that this is the last thing we want to see another death in bodybuilding another like high profile death like Nick Walker who has a major following and uh, it would be you know just a disaster for our industry so you have to prioritize your health and well-being in the first place and this is what coaches should be prioritizing but after Quintus exposed all these things about you know gaslighting and never taking responsibility why the athlete didn't look good you know, it's just a shame and it just shows that our industry has a lot of problems. I'd like to hear what you guys think. Uh, please let me know in the comment down below. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.